Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the AIM MX2E for Lotus, Elise and Exige um, with Toyota engines. We are first going to take a look at the track manager. So the track manager is located within the settings. Here you can take a look, uh, you can set it by automatic, which means that it will search for the track that is nearest to you. Uh, or you can change the criteria there so you could see all tracks custom nearest nearest uses the GPS to determine your location to the track track info will show you proximity to the tracks nearest um, to you so we can see that Wakefield is 180 kilometers from here uh, so this dash will do uh, automatic lap timing and uh, data logging so you could uh, do some laps at the track and then uh, you'll get your live lap timing it does include splits as well so we're going to go ahead and take a look at what that screen would look like in the preferences you would choose display and at the moment you can see we've got it on the road setting you would change that to the track setting which adds the lap timer um, it adds the lap time, which is obviously would be here, but it's not running because we're not doing a lap right now. And then in the middle, you can see you've got your uh, split. So if you're halfway around the track, you'll know if you're doing better or worse than your best time. Um, that will help with your strategy. You can obviously try a new thing on a corner um, and see how the split time is affected. And, and you'll know then and there whether or not that's a... a a successful uh, improvement um, but all in all it's it's pretty easy to use I haven't uh, done any laps of the track just yet but I expect that it would um, would work fairly uh, easily and, and do what's expected and I'll have another video for you as soon as I've done some laps at the track thank you